what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel my name is akeem haynes i'm a two-time olympian olympic bronze medalist author motivational speaker and sports commentator on my channel we talk boxing mma track and field and of course motivation and encouraging content if this is something that you enjoy then i hope that you subscribe to the channel now let's get into the video jose was Katagui versus vladimir shishkin this is the co-main event of the michelle rivera versus frank martin card I think this is going to be a pretty good one and answer a lot of different questions. Let's start with Jose Uzcategui. He's coming to this one with a record of 32 wins, 4 losses, 27 wins by way of knockout. In his last 3 fights, he's won by way of the KO or stoppage. So he's coming in with some good momentum, especially in the knockout department. His biggest win, in my opinion, was when he fought Andre Durrell to win the IBF interim super middleweight title. He's also been in the ring with Caleb Plant and he came up short in that one as well too so in this fight he's got the height advantage he's got the reach advantage we haven't seen too much of him though in the recent years and his last three fights have been in pretty low key i think they've all been in mexico so it's always an interesting mix when you're being low key you don't know the caliber of guy that you're fighting so when i was looking at it and checking on some of the fighters that he was fighting right those three fights that he had and those three stoppages he was fighting guys with a combined record all three of them 50 wins 51 losses and three draws so the quality of the guys that he's been fighting hasn't been very good not at that elite level in his past recent fights right so it was all probably more of a confidence thing you know to get the confidence back right now when he fought anthony Durrell and got the win over him that was the best that i've seen him i mean he was sharp he was ca taking calculated shots he was aggressive he was tactical and he was accurate with the shots and the power was showing he gave Durrell some work in that rematch he looked very good the jabs were good the punches were sharp and snappy he didn't force the fight he counter punched well he stuck with this game plan and i thought he looked like he was having fun in that fight but when he fought caleb plant he got outboxed and i think he fought emotionally in that fight and caleb took him out of his fight and made him fight his because caleb was taunting him a little bit in that fight nobody wants to be taunted especially in the magnitude of a main event so i think he was trying to knock out caleb right trying to catch caleb with the right shot now he did come on late in the fight and turn up the pressure and aggression but at that point he needed a knockout to win and against caleb plant right despite what canelo did to him he's a tough guy to hit at times right especially when you're fighting out of desperation right you're not really being tactical and trying to cut off the ring you're just trying to land the big shots and caleb is very cerebral in in his fight so you're not just going to hit him if it's not calculated and you don't set it up but in his fight against lionel thompson he had some moments in that fight but he just didn't look the same to me thompson is a good boxer but no disrespect to lionel thompson but i thought uskatagui that was a fight where he should have got the win should have got the stoppage so i'm not sure where uskatagui is right now or rather what form he's in or what version we'll see so it should be interesting to see what version of jose uskatagui Tagui shows up this weekend. Let's talk about his opponent, Vladimir Shishkin. 13 wins, zero losses, eight wins by way of knockout. In his last three fights, he's won two by knockouts, including a win against the hard hitting Senna Ajikbeko, right? Who had a massive win this year against Isaiah Steen not too long ago, right? This is a big opportunity for Shishkin. He's a natural boxer to me not the biggest puncher so he's not a knockout artist he's a guy that sets up his stoppages when he does get them and really is patient with his attack and his approach now he doesn't force shots doesn't over commit to shots stays within his skill set he's going to use his jab to get in range going to step back if he needs to he'll come to throw a few combination punches right but then he will go back to making sure that he's able to keep the distance where he doesn't get hit himself now in the fights that i have seen of him live this isn't the guy who throws a lot of punches right he doesn't punch in flurries and he's not going to take something that he's not going to get a return on right he's not going to take risks unless he knows the risk is going to pay off but he does come forward he does target the body but everything is behind the jab he's got good conditioning and sometimes his shots are looping in his yeah, last fight against jason menda he looked 
he took his time in that fight, right? It looked like he was just going through the motions until he turned up the pressure and started to land and started to let his hands go when he caught him with the left hand counter punch. And that shot is what would lead to the fight being stopped in the next round, right? He did some damage. So when he does choose to let his hands go, he can do some damage. He can hurt you. Doesn't have a lot of knockouts, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have pop in his shots. So I think when he does get engaged in the fight when he does turn up the tempo this is a guy that can end the fight so who wins if uskata gui comes in and shows confidence early in the fight coming forward using his jab and dictating the pace of the fight he'll have a great night but if he tries to outbox Shishkin and fight emotional, like he won't win that one. If he fights to the crowd, he is not going to stay inside of his character and himself. Now, Shishkin can jab and land quick combos all night. Both of these guys aren't the best defensive fighters either. Like they're both there to get hit. Now, Uskata Gubi does have the type of skills and talent he can slip in and slip out and let his hands go. If he fights with confidence, he can no doubt get a stoppage and win this fight. But will it happen? I don't think he will in this case, right? Not that he can't win this fight, but I'm just not sure we're going to see the same Uskatagubi that we've been accustomed to seeing in previous fights before. I'm just a little bit hesitant when I see right someone go low key off to try to get the confidence back and fight fighters that they should win no problem but if you're always taking easy fights at certain times in your career you're going to fight down to that level and when it's time to get up to a different level and fight some good quality fighters you may doubt yourself inside the ring, and I'm just not sure what Uskatagubi we're going to see in this one. So I'm taking Vladimir Shushkin to win by decision. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comments section below. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a couple ways that you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and will be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.